Hey, uh, thanks for checking out Easy State. Today I'm going to show you how to make a real basic state machine in under five minutes. So uh, right here, I'll, all I have is an empty Unity project. I have Easy State imported. Um, so let's get started. So the first thing you want to do when creating a state machine is you want to create the data type, um, which you can do that by going to Easy State Context Wizard. Um, and then enter a data type name here. I'm just going to call this first data type. And I'm going to go ahead and give this um, just a single field here. Um, we're just going to call this field name. All right, I'm going to even create a data type. Um, it adds it to the project, so it needs to recompile. Uh, once that's done, I'm going to go and add a action. I'm going to call this hello. And in the injected code here, I'm going to simply log a message to the council um, saying hello to uh, whoever the person is that is using the state machine. So hopefully that works. Um, and notice that's compiled, so it gives us a little error saying we made a mistake there. That's great. So now that works. And I'm going to make one more action here, doing the same thing, but just saying goodbye. This way we can uh, know that the um, actions are executing like you would expect. So data dot name. Great. All right, now create that. And last but not least, all I want to do here is create a condition called 50, 50. Um, this needs to return a Boolean. And all it's going to do is return um, true 50% of the time and false the other half of the time there. So just return a num number between 0 and 1. And if it's greater than um, 0.5, then return true, else false. So now that that's created, we can open up the designer and select the data type we just created, name the design, and then we're going to add two state nodes here. The first state I'm going to name hello. Add the hello action to this state. The second state I'm going to name goodbye. And you guessed it, I'm going to add the goodbye action to this state. Next, I'm going to create a connection from the entry state to the hello state. I'm going to right click on the uh, connection node there and set the fallback state to goodbye. Last but not least, I'm going to change the condition from none to 50-50. Now that that's done, our design is completed. I'm going to convert it to a behavior. Now that it's converted to a behavior, we can use it in Unity. And we do this by creating a new game object in the empty scene that we have. Switch over to the Inspector tab. I'm going to add an Easy State machine. You go Add Component, Pigeon Studios, Easy State, Easy State Machine. Now I'm going to select first data type as the data type, that's the one we just created, and then define, select first design as the behavior. I'm going to set the, reset, the refresh type to update, um, that's the built-in unity update method. I'm then going to create us some data for the state machine to use. I'm going to save that right there, and for the name I'm going to, uh, I'm going to set the name to Chuck Norris seems good enough and then instead of using this event handler I'm going to drop the options down and say use individual event handlers. What this will allow us to do is um, since we're not really going to do anything with the events that way I don't have to um, build a separate handler for that. So now that that's done um, our thing is complete I believe so now we just have to click play and we should be getting some messages to the console. There we go. Tons of them. Great. So let's just stop right there. And you see that it's alternating 50% of the time between saying hello to our friend Chuck Norris and goodbye. Um, so that's just what we expected. And all of that in under five minutes. So great. Thanks for uh, checking this out. Hopefully this gave you an overview of how Easy State works and um, kind of gives you an idea of how easy it is to define behaviors inside of Easy State. So thanks for watching.